Yeah, 10 minutes to go, that's 10 minutes left. Welcome, I'm DDF Racer. Today is Tuesday, and that means it's time to go racing with Suit Speed in iRacing. Yes, every two weeks I get to take my Bean Machine LMP3 Ligier out on track in iRacing and race against some of the most. <laughs> well, it's one of the most competitive fields I've ever raced in. Currently, we're in the middle of the practice session, and there are eight cars separating third. Oh, sorry, eight cars. So there's eight cars separated by two tenths of a second from third down to eleventh. Eleventh, uh, yeah. Crazy stuff. Absolutely crazy stuff. It's it's very close. But then again, you would kind of expect that at a short racetrack like the Red Bull Ring, as you've probably already guessed from the uh, <clears throat> from the intro loop we've already had on screen right now. <laughs> we are going to be doing an hour race. 
So, we've had a few sprint formats the last time out. Five minutes to go, five minutes left. Five minutes left in practice, then we roll over to qualifying, and after that, a quick warm-up session slash driver briefing, and then an hour race. So, instead of the, you know, quick first race and then a longer second race with a top 10 reverse grid, we are going all in for an hour today. And with a reduced fuel tank size, that means that basically we are going to be making two pit stops unless there are safety cars and some strategy at play and then we'll be making one pit stop. Maybe. It's going to be very close. But you cannot guarantee a safety car. We may have had like 15 million in the first two races of the season, but we've had none since then. Yep, Barcelona and Aragon went completely safety car free, so that is something to keep an eye out today. Crazy stuff, people. I'm, I, I don't know how this is going to go today. All I can do really is just drive to the numbers, keep it in track limits, and um, don't bin it and hope I'm in somewhere nice at the end. I do like a bit of strategy though, so if I can, I am going to try and do what I can to make it a one-stop race. Can't guarantee that though, it really does depend on the fuel. I think I'm going to have to save something like 7 litres over the course of the race, or 8 litres or something like that. Um, ideal number for me is 2.4 litres a lap. If I can do that, and there's a bit of a safety car, it's going to be good, otherwise we will need a splash at some point. I can't wait, it's going to be exciting stuff. And something else I want to show you very quickly, by the way, something that's very exciting... ...is... where are we? This! Maybe you can see that there, maybe not, because it's gone off the bottom of the screen. There we go, that's probably a little bit better right there. That's the current championship standings. Zoom this in a bit. There we go, that's more like it. That's the current championship standings. Now, somehow, I don't know... The guy ahead has just done it, 127, I don't know how this has happened, but I am fifth in the championship on 178 points. Uh, this does include the drop round as well, because there is a drop round in the season. Though this is like a running drop round uh, calculation now. So, uh, JB is right behind me on 169. David Turnbull is right ahead of me on 196. I think anything further than that is out of touch unless I can keep it consistent, but Sean Benici, thank you for the subscribe, sir. I hope you have a good race tonight, mate. All the best. Uh, where are you in the championship standings at the moment, Sean Benici? Ah, oh, 17th. You've had a few you've had a few shockers though, mate, unfortunately. I know you're fearsome at Donington, but you've got some epic pace in that car, which hopefully, fingers crossed, you can unlock tonight. Um but yeah, all the best, mate. And again, I am sorry for the exit in Montreal. <laughs> I'm never, never going to forget that. But cheers, Sean. Thank you. And all the best, mate, stateside. Um, but yeah, there's the championship standings at the moment. I, I have no idea how I am in fifth position because I nev I've never really felt on top of this car apart from the last round at Aragorn. Minutes left. Two minutes to go. Where I narrowly missed out on a podium due to battling with Vinnie Nguyen. Yeah, it's it's been a rough season, mate. Um, I'm Yeah, I'm kind of sat here confused about how I'm there. Anyway, that's the championship standings. So I'm not going to work out what I need to finish to maintain that position or what, how the points are all going to work because, to be honest, there are so many different permutations. I'm just going to go and drive the best I can and then have a look at the points after the race and I doubt I'll still be in fifth position. Uh, we'll see how we go. <laughs> but that is where we're at. I incredible stuff. Now, of course, let me switch it over to iRacing mode. I replay. Here we go. Let's have a nice look at the car I'm going to be driving today. You've seen it all before, but if you haven't, um, it is a bean machine. And by that, there we go. You can see it right there. Baked beans. Literally baked beans. Uh, why baked beans? Um, well, because I wanted to pick an orange livery and I didn't have time to make one, so I went on trading paints. And this was the most orange one I could find, so I just slapped some logos on the top and job done with it. <laughs> Um, hey Jasper, good to see you. Good to see you indeed, mate. So yeah, we got qualifying coming up, which is 15 minutes very shortly. Um, open track qualifying, and I'll be honest with you, qualifying has been my absolute weakness this season. Um, I, I've never been able to put a, a good lap together on low fuel at short notice. Races always seem to go better. I always seem to be overtaking and fighting back throughout the races. It would be nice to qualify well. And, um kind of not have to like overtake people all the time not that there's anything wrong with that it's exciting viewing for you guys but i just know that if i can kind of move a bit forward i don't have to spend the first five six laps keeping out of trouble and Hi guys welcome to red bull ring 
we're going to have back a, on qualifying it. starting in a, a few seconds now, so usual rules apply, just make sure to leave each other enough space. Got a funny little uh, pit entry here, so Check if you're going to pit, seventh fly, position. make sure that you either let the person behind you know or there's uh, nobody within a couple of seconds so that there's no incidents on the second last corner. Uh, good luck to all in qualifying, uh, any issues this radio session, room, we'll take a look and make sure uh, you know you don't balk in if you can avoid it. Uh, uh, good luck to all, cheers. Thank you, Richo. As always, season organizer there and absolute legend of Sued Speed. Uh, before we get stuck into qualifying, I want to remind you guys, by the way, um, when I say remind you, you may have seen it on the screen right now. But <clears throat> and I'm probably going to say this a lot during the stream as well. I'm running a giveaway today. Um, I won driver of the day last time out at Aragon, and that means that I got a t-shirt for my exploits on track. However, I already have a t-shirt that's got Sud Speed on it. So, I'm going to throw it over to you guys. I'm, I'm giving it away. I haven't worn it. It's not all sweaty. Um, <laughs> basically, whoever wins the giveaway will uh, have it made in their size and sent to them for absolutely free. Now, if you want to be in with a chance of winning that, there is only one to give away. There's only one winner, and Streamlabs will do this at the end of it. Uh, you have to type into the chat, exclamation mark t-shirt. So, exclamation mark t-shirt will get you into the giveaway and then after the race once all the chats finished and everything settled down uh, probably before we look at the replay I'd say uh, then uh, Streamlabs will pick a winner at random and I'll do it on screen so you can see it in all its furnace and all its glory and everything so yeah that that is that so exclamation mark t-shirt so Sticky's in the giveaway and this is one prize that Sticky might not actually have already he used to enter all the giveaways for race room uh, all the race room codes, but he already had all the race room content, so he used to give his he used to give away his giveaway. Whereas now he might actually be with the chance of actually getting a prize, a genuine win for Sticky. But yep, type in chat exclamation mark T-shirt and you'll be in with the chance. So qualifying has started. I should probably get on with it because there's only 15 minutes and I've already wasted two of them chatting about a free T-shirt. I'm not wearing it today for the sole reason that I forgot to wash it after last week's stream and it's been sat on the floor for two weeks. <laughs> so I don't think it'd be too good to uh, give it a go. Alright, let's get out on track then. Pit exit's clear. Okay, Dan. We've got 12 minutes to do the business. LMP3 beam machine here at Red Bull Ring. Out on track, away we go. Nice. What a great sounding car. And again, thank you so much, everybody, for uh, joining in and taking part. It's great to have you here. If you do enjoy today's stream, don't forget to leave it a like or a thumbs up or whatever it is that YouTube call it these days. Say hi in chat. I've got a few straights. So I'll do my best to keep up with you. Hey, Nick the Silver. Ah, Pac-Man. Yes, Pac-Man t-shirt, not a suit speed t-shirt. Which could be yours. If Nick the Silver wins it, I'm going to send him the worn, sweaty one. Knowing full well it'd be, like, way too small for him, because he's, Just like, seven foot tall. <laughs> but anyway, if you enjoy it, leave it a like, thumbs up, say hi in chat and subscribe, because after this, we've still got two more races to go. We've got a sprint and feature race next time out in two weeks at Zandvoort, and then in four weeks, the season finale, an hour race at Phillip Island for the season finale. Anyway, we're approaching the end of the lap, which means it's time for me to focus. So quiet time. Here we go. Let's get some quiet laps to the Red Bull ring. Let's get a banker on the boards. Anything in the 126s will be good. Here we go. Hey, Liam. Alessandro. Sector one. 
Oh, had to back out a bit on the exit there. Hey, Boggy! New fastest lap for Brad Short, 126.85. Caution. You're a tenth off the pace in sector two. JB straight to provisional pole with a 126.8. Barely in track limits there. First lap on the board, what's it going to be? 126.63. not bad. You're currently 0.7 off the pace. Sector 1 time's okay. Sector 2's two tenths off the Ooh. pace. Your lap time was at 127.35. Yep. Hit the sausage, front left went over the other side. And, um, yeah, track limits, there we go. Hey, Tuba! So this lap's not going to count. But in this LMP3 car, it's never usually the first or second lap that's the best anyway. Once the car gets up the temperature, the tyres do take a few laps to come in, although track temperature 36 and a half degrees. Um, I don't think it'll take long for them to, for that long to come, to, uh, come in today. Can't speak. Just getting all my words out the way now while I can, while this lap doesn't count. And it's frustrating because I'm already like half a tenth up, so I know there's... Definitely pace in it. Ooh. Bit wiggly on the rear on entry then. JB is very good at this track. I'm expecting JB to be right at the front today. All right, let's rack, rack him up for another lap here. Let's get ready to go again. Here we go. Go get it. 126 point something. E7. Yellow flag. The guy ahead has just posted at 127.32. Already bumped down to 8. behind has just done a 127.42. Sector one time's okay. Six tenths up. Watch the track limits, please, Dan. That would have been a 26.8. Right, try again. Done it once, I can do it again. Clear, clear to the right. Got Dean coming out the pits, thank you, mate. That's half fuel. You've used half your fuel. I know the pace is in it. Uh, donuts, Chiba. Donuts on my socks today. Kidding, I've done it again. 
Alright, need to just rein it in at the final corner. I can get easy six cents here. Turn to position. Fastest lap for Ngaia, 126, and 2 Lost it at the first corner there. That's not good. Right. Well, my 10th position. Again, qualifying is just not coming together. It's just not coming together. Can't get the lap. The rest of the lap is fine. Just the final corner. I've run wide twice now. Rain it in then. Rain it in, mate. Just calm it down. Even if you don't have a perfect final corner, you'll still be like three tenths up. Okay. Focus time. We've got enough fuel for two more laps. It's a practice now. See, there we go, that's much better. Come on! That was my best ever first sector. Rear tyres are hot now. Six tenths up at that point of the track. And now I'm back to square again. And I have one shot after this. One more lap. Just on fuel. Rear tyres are overheating. 38 degree track temp. I've already screwed my entry into turn one, the momentum here. Very little fuel left. That puts you 0.9 off the leader's pace. Sector one time's okay. Sector two is 0 0.32 off the pace. Sector three is 0 0.6 off the pace. That lap time was 127.53. Not great, but I'll have to do. One minute remaining. Track limits, this lap will be deleted. That's... B12. <laughs> Why can't I do qualifying in this car? Ah! So frustrating, I haven't got enough time for another lap. Far out. Went too far the other way at the final corner that, that time. Oh well, exciting race again coming up. I, there was easy six tenths, easily six tenths in that lap.
Hey, Mr. Bishy. All right, car is tanked. Just. <laughs> <laughs> the track temps increasing. It's now 39 Celsius. I'm going to petition to Richard. Can we just have random grids next time at Zanfort? Because I think I might actually do better. The leader has just done a 126.48. Okay, what time did I do? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the entries. So I am currently in 12th position. Oh, sorry, not entries. Uh, results. 12th position. On a 27.3, and if I did my best lap, that would have given me a 27.6, which would put me right in contention for the front row. 26.6 is, is Vinny in second. There was definitely a 26. Massive cheese! Hello! There was definitely a 26 in that, but you know what? It didn't matter because I didn't do it, because I just kept on either cutting the track or losing the rear. I hate qualifying in this car with an absolute thunderous passion. <laughs> oh, well, I've got my fuel in ready to go. Yeah, the results are ridiculous. Look at the results. Like, even just one tenth would have got me two spots. Now I'm down to 13th. And then it's like, it's just so ridiculously close. Just can't put a lap together. Yeah, I'm just moving backwards, Nick. Honestly. Right, well, I've, I've tanked it. I'm going to have to do some clever strats here, to be honest with you. I'm going to have to work some way of making my way to the front again. Uh, just don't do a... Ch <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm three wide into turn one, Liam, I'm already doing something massively wrong. Mm. Let's have a quick drink of water and take the opportunity again just to remind you there is a giveaway happening right now for those who may have just joined recently during the qualifying session. Um, last time out at uh, Aragon I won Drive of the Day, which the, the prize for winning Drive of the Day in this series is a t-shirt from Suitspeed, because they're the same people who make these make these gloves, Suitspeed! And they're actually really, really nice gloves as well. I'm a big fan of these gloves. And I don't normally use gloves, but these are superb. Um, yeah, prize for winning Drive of the Day is a Sudspeed t-shirt, but I already had one. So uh, they said that I could just give it away on today's stream instead. Now obviously it's not the same t-shirt that I wore or place. would be wearing. Um, whoever wins it, it will be a custom order made in your size. So if you want to be in with the chance of winning that t-shirt, type five into chat, mark, everyone. exclamation mark yeah, t-shirt. minute race, so I'll see you guys in five minutes on the grid for the driver briefing. Exclamation mark t-shirt in chat. Winner will be picked after the race. So we've got a five minute warm up and uh, the race is going to be an hour. Let's do some practice pit stops, shall we? Can't believe that about qualifying All clear. again. You can push now. Honestly, it's a running joke. Maybe it's like... Maybe because now I know that I have terrible qualifyings, I kind of drive terribly subconsciously. I don't know. Like, am, I, am I putting too much pressure on myself, maybe? If I just relaxed and didn't think about it and go, Oh, am I going to stuff it up? Maybe I wouldn't stuff it up. <laughs> I wonder how many of you do that as well when you're driving. When you're on a really good lap or you think, Right, I've got to, I've got to, have, a, I've got to have a good lap here, and you just don't. Whereas when you're in the middle of a practice session, nobody's watching and nobody cares. You go and set the best laps ever. Saying that, I actually only driven any practice laps for this event last night for the first time, and that was only like 10 or 15 laps as well. I had my rally stream on Friday. What was it? Friday? Sunday, sorry. And then I, for the whole week before that, I was recovering because I had three teeth extracted last Friday. And I've just been doing Thermalito development and testing behind the scenes as well, so it's just been so full on. I, I just haven't really prioritized practice for this. And it's kind of showing. No, it's not a race-worn t-shirt, Lee. Unfortunately, for those who might be into that kind of thing. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Box in 270 meters. It's a brand new custom-made t-shirt. Four, three. Hey, Hanky. Two, one. Box 
now. Hey, Raphael, good to see you. Exit's clear. Safety car of T1. Hope you're all keeping well. And again, thank you for tuning in. This is the practice session, uh, the warm-up session. Got two and two and a quarter minutes remaining. Ooh, overcooked it a bit there. Did a Nico Rosberg. Actually, no, I didn't do a Nico Rosberg. I actually did attempt to turn in there. <laughs> um. <coughs> yep, and then the race is coming up, which is an hour long. Starting in 13th. Which is unlucky for some, but fitting for me, with it being Halloween today. I check. Does the t-shirt come with DDF underpants? I'm not sure, Liam. It can be arranged, mate. Thanks, mate. And also, the, the, the guys and girls at Sud Speed have actually been incredibly um, nice to me. And they've set up a discount code, so even if you don't win a t-shirt, if you do like the looks of their gloves and you want to get some, if you use the code DDFRACER in the store, they'll actually give you 10% off. Speed. Box in Which is two. very nice of them. Meters. Very nice of them. Box in five, four, three, two, one. Box now. Hey, Nick, I mean this in the nicest possible way, mate. There is absolutely no way that one of my t-shirts would fit you. <laughs> I mean, I'm not exactly the skinniest dude in the world, but mate, you are like... You are hugely tall. But I would like to see you try. So maybe I will send it anyway. We'll see. Uh, no trick or treat today. Um, well, trick in qualifying, hopefully, treat in the race. That's how these things work out, isn't it? I don't want a trick in a trick. So, yeah, I've definitely got my race fuel in. A full 48 litres. That's good. We're ready to go. That's a new fastest lap for Walker. 127.76. Okay. What's happened there? Oh, we're back on static cam. Cool. That's the end of the warm-up session. So let's just rest those feet, stretch those legs for a minute, because I'm not going to get much chance for the next hour or so. Richard's going to come on the radio and do his usual incredibly professional driver briefing. And there's, there's the Red Bull itself. Right, everybody, welcome to Red Bull Ring for our 60-minute race tonight. It's one of our longer races. Um, just going to quickly remind everyone to put the race set up on and put enough fuel in if you've been doing some qualifying before. Um, it's a hot tip for young players. So tonight we've got two fast repairs and the incident limit is uh, probably something to think about here. Set to 30 before you get a drive through. There's a couple of runoff areas where you might catch one depending on where you uh, position the car, so be mindful of that. Request to tow is active as usual, so uh, when you do have an incident and you need to tow, radio in with your car number and uh, where you are, we'll take a look. Um, depending on where you finish up, we may call the safety car. That'll be the iRacing safety car. Uh, so the pit lane will be closed for the first lap, as you all know. Uh, like usual, it's in your best interest to request a tow because you can use your fast repair, uh, which you have too, and then potentially rejoin the race, maybe even get a wave around to get back onto the lead lap. A few long straights here at Red Bull Ring, as we know, with a few heavy braking zones, so they create a good chance for a dive bomb. Uh, I've mentioned it a few times. Make sure you can pull the car up if you're going to put a move on somebody. Otherwise, there may be a penalty applied to you. Um, and the thing that we need to be mindful of here is going to be the pit entry. So we know that it's just before the final corner, um, and you kind of need to slow down a lot more on the second last turn than you would if you were on a hot lap. So uh, make sure you let people know if they're around you. If no one's around you, obviously you'll be fine, but uh, just be mindful of that. If you do something unpredictable and you get uh, drilled, then... Uh, you know, it's it's something we're going to have to take a look at. So please communicate with your fellow racers as best you can if you know you're going to be pitting and someone's following you closely. Uh, the pit lane transit time is about 15 seconds, so if you are found uh, at fault, then the uh, post-race penalty in the last five minutes of the race will be 15 seconds. Uh, any questions, let me know. 
Good luck to all. Congratulations, Brandon, for uh, pipping Vinny. I wasn't sure if you were going to get by him for the uh, pole position, but well done. That's a quick lap, especially with a warm track, so congrats, mate, on that one. Good luck to everybody. Race clean. Remember, 60 minutes. Uh, it's going to be a longer race than usual, so be patient. Make your moves. If you're faster than somebody, you will get by them, I'm sure. Don't uh, need to win it at turn one like, unfortunately, Sergio did on the weekend. Oh. Good luck to everybody. Have a fun night. Thank you, Richard. Yes, good luck, everyone. Good luck, all. All right, get the fuel strut ready for the first stop already. No change of tyres. Full tank. Fast repair enabled if we need it. Let's turn the standings off. Let's get the engine on. Let's get ready to go. Rolling start. Yep, Streamlabs is going. Again, thank you everybody for tuning in. Great to have you here. I hope you enjoy this. 13, 60 minutes. It's going to be a long race. It's going to be a tricky race. I'm out of position again. But then again, that's just the whole story of the season so far. Follow car number 25 in the right column. I don't know, maybe I can get a pole position at Phillip Island in the finale. Wouldn't that be something? Track those brakes, let's get a bit of heat in them. I'm not going to weave like everyone else around me is doing. And don't forget, give away for a free t-shirt. Type into the chat exclamation mark t-shirt for a chance to win. All right, Dan, be ready. Streamlabs will pick the random winner at the end of the race. Well, I, I'll press the button. Streamlabs will pick it. Okay, here we go. Go. I uh, hit the limiter. Made a shocker already. Far away. Get the run. Made it through in one piece. Watch some more fights up ahead. It'd be nice and early breaks. Give him some space. Cold breaks. Clear left. On your left. Clear to the left. Clear left. We got some freebies already. So they come up to 12th maybe now. We'll see. Wait for the car to come to me. No point fighting it in these early stages of the race just yet. And use the pace that I know the car is capable of. We've got Owen up ahead of us. Good lad, Owen. Expat just like myself. And that's the first lap completed. Still in one piece. Got Dino in behind. Owen up ahead. What are we in? 12th? 10th? 10th. That's nice. I wasn't expecting to be that high up. Make out 9th. That's a freebie. That's Fenson's gone. Oh, unlucky, mate. Unlucky, Eric. That's one of the brothers out. Henry's still going. Good guns up in 5th there. Everyone's really early on the brakes there. I wasn't expecting that. Made up a stack of time. Where's this guy going to break? Right side. Still there. Clear oh, right. got balked a bit there. By Brenton. That gives Owen the run up the inside here. The guy in front is Morris. Definitely faster than these guys, I think, so far. It'd be nice to get past them if possible. Let's not force the issue too much. Just be patient here. 
long race. Lots of opportunities if I play it right. Just done at 127.42. E9, you've just done at 129.00. Oh, I thought that was going wide then, but it's okay. It's okay. Saved it. Dino's still in close behind as well. Everyone getting some good slipstream here. Okay, Brenton's not so great on the brakes. Maybe next time if I get close, I'll pull alongside. No dive bomb, but at least okay, my, my intention's we'll clear. Open after 30 minutes. Closes at about 34 minutes. He's not got much confidence on the brakes, this guy up ahead. He's braking even earlier than I am, and that's saying something. Because <laughs> I'm king of the early breakers, usually. Especially in iRacing. Well, that's a bit wide. Just cut the track. Big understeer from the back of his car, that. Here we go, good run. The leader has just done a 127. Well, I need to get him this lap because I'm losing time to Owen and Jack up ahead. Although this is a very good opportunity to save fuel, I need to try and keep my average number below 2.4 litres a lap if I want any chance of uh, extending to 20 laps in this stint instead of 19. Alright, got him here. Had a bit of a lock up there. Alright, Dan, stay close. Wait for him to make a mistake. Alright. Have to get him around the outside. Still there. Keep it steady. Hold your line. Still there. Clear right. You're clear. Back out of that. Oh, he's gone wide! He's gone wide! Oh! He got on the dirty stuff. Right. Quite lap incoming. Sorry to see you go, Brenton. Sorry, mate. That's not what you want to see. Oh, unlucky. Let's move forwards. Yeah, Hunt's definitely... Keep an eye on me behind Dino. E7, that lap was at 128.16. That's your quickest lap. But now I can break when I want to break. Although Dino's probably going to have a crack at it, I'd say. Okay, Dan, don't let this go. Up to 7th. So much better on the brakes than everybody into turn. Is it three? Was it two? Is that turn two? Never remember. making up some positions here already though moving in the right direction so far this race seventh place oh Dean had a good run there you've just done a 127.57 that's your best lap in this session Far left. Clear left. Swan pole run wide. That's another freebie. Now we've got Owen up ahead of us. Uh, 
This is for fifth, I think. Oh, Dino's had a little wobble behind. Yeah, I got a nice little bit of breathing space now. Up to fifth. No, sixth. Sixth place. That was a 27.23. Got to run through the first corner from Owen there. He's got the legs on me. This is tense stuff, and I can still see the leaders. Leaders only five seconds up the road, and it's Dean. Dean Powell. Fuel numbers are looking good as well, keeping it below 2.4. Yeah, Owen's definitely got some pace today. Good on you, mate. Bit wide there. Loose on the rear. Still with him though. And Dino's dropping back a bit behind. Yep, JB's the next car after Rowan. Oh, has he got a slowdown? JB's got a slowdown. Fastest lap for Para, 126.90. The lap time was 127.16. There he is! We got him! It's JB! Still there. Sorry, Real man. Man. Bradshaw is really new in. The gap's now zero. All good, mate. Whoa! Big snap! That's a big sausage for you there, up to fifth, but now JB's all over our chuff. We've lost touch with Owen. Oh, that could be slipstream worthy. Oh, out in the dust. Out in the dust there. Way wide. Terrible lap so far. Tires are overheating or something for everybody by the looks of it. Right, quiet lap. Need to get back in the groove. Need to get back on the tail of Owen. The captain, Ara, in front is now 1.4. Five. That was a 128.18. Sector two is 1.1 off the pace. The track temperature's decreasing. It's now 36 Celsius. Uh, a bit wide. I want to say a bit wide, like a lot wide. Jack's in behind. The car is so taily. If you're just the micro offline. Okay now, hold your nerve, just keep it smooth. No mistakes. You cut the track. Keep 
keep it nice and tidy. The leader has just done a 127.39, but the gap behind is now 0.8. Okay, this one's the quiet lap. That's exactly what I did on the last lap in Quali. We are catching up to the leaders ever so slowly. A few tenths at a lap. Only five seconds away. Tent stuff with a quarter of the race gone. Don't worry about it, Michael. I was already spinning before you tagged me. Hello, man. Sorry, by the way. All right, the head is increasing. It's now 1.9. Big wiggle there. Careful for the next few if the tyres are overheating at the back. Sun just came out and you could feel it in the rears. Fire is definitely closing. 2.39 on the fuel, great, we're going well. Four, five. Sectors 1 and 2 are 0, 1, 3, 4, off the pace. Sector 3 time is fast. A few short shifts, a few lifting coasts and would be good. JB's back behind us as well. Kind of in our own lonely little race here. Hell of a gaggle behind, hell of a gaggle in front. It's not enough. <laughs> when you get it right, that final sector is just so good. When you get it wrong, it's so frustrating. All right, 126.89. That lap time was 127.18. Sector 1 is 0.39. Off the pace. Yeah, Owen is flying. Fastest lap of the race, trying to catch these guys up ahead. Fuel 2.4, exactly. Ahead is now 2.3. New 
fastest lap for Magaya, 126.88. Bit of a lock up there. Just need a bit more pace. But the moment you start trying to push beyond your pace is when you start making mistakes. In this car it's so much more important to get into a rhythm. one wrong input and it will kill you without a second of hesitation. Okay Dan, you've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. Your last lap time was at 127.55. Yeah, the leaders are in sight, Liam. All four of them just up there, just so tantalizingly close, you know? <laughs> See what we can do with strategy. U5. Gap to Para. Ahead is now 2.4 seconds. Very sweaty work. Third of the way down, I am sweating like crazy. A little bit wide. There's no grip off line here. The gap to Bradshaw behind is now 2.2. <laughs> Yay, I got a tenth on him. <laughs> Very steady race so far, but pit stops are going to start happening soon. It's going to come alive. There's an off track. Stay between the lines, please, Dan. Don't want to do that too many times. Could get slow down just like JB. That would ruin it. That would absolutely ruin things. Two point four exactly. One twenty six point eight one. That felt like a good lap. That felt like a very good lap. It's the fastest lap of the race. That lap was at 126.77. And I still use less than 2.4 litres of fuel. Alright. It's, uh... Car's definitely feeling nice on lower fuel. Leader's only three and a half seconds away now. Moving in the right direction. About four laps left on this tank. Thanks, Aditya!
Oh, a bit too wide there again. Keep it within the track limits. I think the instant point was 30. That's what Richard said. Three laps left on this tank. Oh, a cheeky wheel spin there. Gap to Ara ahead is now zero seconds. Now there's no point undercutting because I'm not taking tires. If I was taking tyres, that would be my thoughts right now. Come in a couple of laps early. Okay, two laps to go. Lap time on fuel, not in the race. Sector 1 is 0.34 off the pace. Oh, a bit wider. Thought it was better to commit to going off the track, taking the 1x. and trying to pull back to the right and save it and then have a horrible snap of instability in the car. Just have a horrible second corner instead. The There's half a second uh, gone. Wow. It's now 2.5. I have a feeling that everybody is going to come in on the next lap. I don't know what tells me that. Just everyone's kind of running the same pace. There's no point undercutting. So this lap for fuel This lap, box this lap. Yep, that's it. Make sure I've got my. Uh, yep, 48 liters. No change of tyres. We're good. Don't have to request a pit stop in iRacing, you just come in and it happens. Within three seconds of the leaders now. A nice gap behind. This is perfect for. Pit entry, no pressure ahead or behind, it's not going to get run into again. Yeah, Henry, I think everyone's going to be pitting in here, mate. Oh, someone's off! Mr. Smith's off! It's broken up the pack a bit here. Box this lap, please, Dan. The to hunt behind is now 3.0. Look out for the pit speed limit. Pit lane speed limit is 80 kilometers per hour. Two liters remaining. There we go. Smith is leading the race. Box in five, four, three, two. One. Box now. There we go. Alright, let's get some fuel in. Let's see how much we're going to need at the end. We have to put some more in to make it. Forty-eight. Forty-eight. Where are we? And away we go. Pit 
Take six clear. We come out ahead of Dino. We come out ahead of Dino, we jump Dino in the pits. Not sure how that's happened. Now iRacing is saying I'm gonna need 10 liters. He's probably gonna get me. We'll see. Holding behind as long as we can. That's an actual on track over or on track overtake. That's for position with Dino behind. Uh, Bye bye. I'll bump the 50 flat widget. Yeah, request to tell you uh, granted, Jack. You were stuck in the pit lane, guys, off the track. Eighth place. Okay, Dan, we're halfway home. Should be about 28 minutes of fuel remaining. Okay, quite a few people didn't stop by the looks of it. Not sure how that worked. Pete Smith is still going. How do they save so much fuel? Dino tried a little lunge behind. Nothing coming, though. How have they saved fuel for another lap? That's very impressive. The leader, Smith, just pitting. I think it might be Liam. It depends on where these guys come out. How the pit stops go up ahead. Could be a podium on the cards, maybe. Turnbull is now in the lead. We're pulling away from Dino ever so slightly as well. I wasn't expecting that. Is now not my date. Six. Okay, we're clear on pits. So I think it's still P4 here. Smith came out ahead of us. Sweaty work. It's saying that I might have enough fuel left to make it to the end. Go oh, it's going to be so tight on fuel. I'm going to short shift like an absolute demon now. Save as much as I can. Dino's definitely saving. Okay, now, keep doing what you're doing. This is spot on. You thought that lap was a 127.75. Is now 27 and a half minutes of fuel in the tank and there's 26 minutes 50 left in the race. It's tight. Oh, Dino's lost it behind. Dino spun it round. I just saw that in the mirror then. Mate. 
pit window is now open. Almost at the same. Captain Smith ahead is now 2.1. Shocker of a lap so far, got dirt on the tyres and then just understeered everywhere. Alright, save some fuel. Oh, excuse me. I know that Pyra and Fenton ahead definitely have to stop again unless they can save epic fuel as well. So I've got a four second gap to JB behind. Let's just, yep, yeah, let's just lift and coast and short shift a bit. I'm not going to get them on pace anyway. Oh, you bugger. That's exactly what happens when you get out of your rhythm and you stop concentrating. You make stupid mistakes. Sure, it's getting closer. The gap's now 3.4. Just have, doing some calculations in my head here. What I need to do to get to the end. And I'm going to need to average 2.35 for the rest of the race to make it. Oh, my fuel calc's just updated now. I'm not going to make it. Smith. And so I was saying I'm two minutes short. Your lap times are dropping off. Come on, you can do better than this. That was a 128.134. Why do I want my fuel estimate just changed like that? So we've got 22 minutes remaining in the tank, 23.50 in the race. It said it was green a couple of laps ago. I'm just going to keep saving though, you never know. Sausage for breakfast on the outside there. I got cramp in my right foot. The guy behind you really went. The gap's now 2.8 seconds. Ah, that hurts. Nope, nope, nope. No, I got a cramp in my right foot. Ah, All right, Doug, bugger! Just cut the track. I'm gonna have to left foot this until I can push this out. P6. You're reeling, Bradshaw, in the 
gap is 1.0. Try again. Is the pedal cam off? Ah. Oh. Hey, Sean. Oh, why is the pedal cam off? Bugger. Yeah, that was left foot. That was left foot. Oh, it was all left foot, that. Ah, I can feel it. You know when your foot's like on the verge of cramping up? And you can feel it. If you just press a bit too hard, it's going to go. I'm riding that right now. <laughs> that's, that's excruciating. Oh, thrown away fourth. To JB, no less. Come on, stay focused. Cannot let him beat me over a physical ailment. That's 20 minutes to go. All right, got to go and get him back. I've got to go and get that P4 back. Podium was never on. Pedal cam is frozen, okay, never mind. It's another 1x. JB's two seconds at the road, no way I'm going to make it on fuel, this is full attack now, I can't save fuel, there's no point. I'm never going to save enough. Go and get fourth place back. Okay, Dan, you're reeling. Brad Shaw in. The gap is now 1.7. Oh, I don't know what's going on with pedal cam. It was working all through practice and quality, right? Oh, it is working. Is it, Steve? So much conflicting advice. <laughs> ha, JDF. Thanks for that. Jimmy, good to see you. Yeah, I'm not closing on JB. I think I lost a bit there. 
That could be such a costly cramp that I had a few laps ago. Let's go get it. It's only going to be a very quick splash at the end. I wonder if there's any merit to coming in early for a splash and dash. Time was at 127.00. Sector 1 is 0.37 off the pace. Well, have I got enough of a gap? If I. No, I haven't got enough of a gap. If I come in now, and if there's a late stage safety car, then I could be on for like some easy hoovering up of points. 15 minutes left, that's 15 minutes. I just need to stop breaking myself at that corner. A few laps in a row now. It could be tyres going off. Uh, definitely no tyres, Chiba. The amount of time I'd spend in the pits getting them changed is just not worth it, mate. Track temp is staying quite constant at the moment. Benson's uh, maintaining lap times as well. <laughs> Steve. Okay, I can't see what lap times these guys ahead are doing. Can you tell me on the overlays what times JB's doing? What kind of lap times? Lap time was 127.04. That's more like it. Very steady race. 13 minutes to go. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well, Mr. Bishy. There's no point doing a pit stop now. I just compromised my race. There's a 1x again! Pay attention to track limits. Please down. Oh, JB's doing it. JB's coming in for his fuel now. That's risky if he comes out in traffic. Loving this, mate. This is perfect. E5. I could really backfire for him there. All right, hammer time, quiet time.
Ah, uh, one X again. The stewards have warned us for cutting the track. Keep it between the white lines. That would have been a 26-3 fastest lap. We'll be warned about track limits. Oh, it's been a fight back the entire race, Jim. He started 13th, mate. Another horrible qualifying. Managed to get up to 4th, running consistent 4th and laps as well. And then I got a massive cramp around about here of 10 minutes ago. And a run wide and had to left foot accelerate and brake for a lap. Until I kept my right foot back in working order. And now it's basically a case of trying to reclaim my fourth position. Is this the fast slap of the race? I think it might be. Yeah, it didn't register for some reason. It was a 26.5. We're close in about a second and a half on fence in these last few laps. We're trying to get the overcut on JB here. We're coming in in four laps time. No point stopping any earlier. Run the car as light as possible. Way too many off tracks, Cupid, I know, mate. Yeah. It's my own fault, I know it. Just pushing too hard to the limits and I'm going beyond them. But this is Austria. If the Formula One drivers are doing it, I think I've got an excuse. <laughs> You've just done a 126.70. That's my best lap of the race. Best valid lap of the race so far. Three laps left on this tank. <laughs> Good job this isn't a, uh, an official sticky. Okay, now this is definitely going to be the fastest lap of the race. There we go, 412. The quickest at the moment. That last lap was at 126.41. All three sectors are pretty quick. Car is coming alive on low fuel. Two laps left in this tank. Ara is now leading. If only I could have done a 26-4 in quali. <laughs> the gap in front 
has increased. It's now about 1.6 seconds. Increase from what spotter? It was four. wasn't a, such a good lap. 26.8. In this lap, box this lap, that was a 126.87. Yep, got to box this lap. Can't quite make it. If across the line with 2.8 remaining, no, I would have been too close because it starts to cough and splutter at the end. So definitely this lap. Five minutes left. Wonder what lap times JB's been doing. Six liters should do it. The leader's pitting now. Smith is now in the lead. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Way too cautious there. Box in five, four, three, two, one. Box now. Alright, here we go. Five minutes of fuel remaining. Where's JB? Keep an eye on the tracker behind. It takes it looks clear. We've done it! We've got him! We've got him! We've jumped JB in the pits! Three minutes to go, we've got him back. Okay, now where's everyone else going to come out? And is anyone going to run out of fuel? Bradshaw is closing the gap. It's now 0.9. First time I've outstrategy JB for a long time. And it feels good, but the race isn't over yet. Two laps to go, I think. Right, who's coming in? Who else is coming in? Fenson's in. Are we gonna get Fenson? Are we gonna jump Fenson in the pits? E7. The guy behind has just done it. 126.57. There he is! There's Fenson! It's on. Gap is closer than it was. And this is for a net P4. J uh, JB's definitely, definitely catching, I'd say. That's just this thing. Oh, 
All right, half a second to fence and last lap, next lap. Who else is going to pit? Okay, maximum concentration, no, no sound, here we go. One more to go. You've just done it for 26.74. We're running on fumes, mate. A big wheel spin there. Bugger. Looks like a lot of people managed to make it one stop. Oh, I think that's our chance. Sorry, mate. Yellow flag, watch out. On your way. We're all up. Very little fuel left. Website, hold your line. Keep it steady. We're all up. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. <laughs> You're kidding me! Couple of freebies on the last lap. There we go. Whoa! P5. P5! We got both Fensons! Oh, I think Henry went off and his rejoin screwed his brother over. That's a shocker! Managed to get it around the outside. There we go! Oh my god. Wow, wow, what a dramatic final lap. P5! P5! Wow! <laughs> Don't forget, people, if you want to be in with a chance of winning a free t-shirt, type, uh, type into the chat, exclamation mark, t-shirt. And I've got 0 0.1 litres of fuel left in the tank, so absolutely too precision. What a final lap that was. Round the outside. Here we go, guys. Pretty clean race until the last five minutes. So, uh, congratulations, <sighs> Pete. Dave, Dylan, well done to the podium. You guys uh, jump into uh, jump into the green room, into the waiting room in the Discord for your interviews. A um, couple of incidents towards the end we'll have a quick squeeze out because we saw a few people went off, but I think it might have been uh, people just making mistakes. But uh, well done, guys. Well done again to the winners. Thanks again for uh, some good racing. And it's out. Cheers, guys. Thank you. <laughs> wow! Wow, we got to see the replay of that. <laughs> Thank you, Steve, Mr. Bishy, Tuba, Sticky, JK, Sean, JDF, Boggy, anybody, Liam, everybody in, in chat. That, let me just save that. How sweaty, work. I can't believe I managed to save a P5 out of that. Oh, imagine without the cramp. Imagine without the cramp. How, how, well, oh, it would have been exciting in the end. Let's see, let's see. Check the results. Let's go to... <laughs> I'm actually shaking after that. That was so tense. Okay, we've saved the replay. And, uh, okay. Results are available. And I got the fastest lap of the race as well. Wow. No bonus points for fastest lap, but, you know, I'll, t I'll take it where I can. Um, not too many incidents. Uh, how, how far behind did I finish? I finished six seconds behind P2 and three seconds behind the podium. Oh, we got JB there. Spooky. Hello, mate. Oh, hello, Mr. Finney. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Mate, I'm I'm doing all right. Not too bad. That was an exciting final lap. Oh well, I just lost my reference point then when our mate was to the left. Oh, was that you? That, I, I, you got yeah, caught just, up. Yeah, I was right behind her, and I just locked her ears. Oh, I, di I didn't see that, mate. Oh, unlucky. Yeah, yeah shit happens. No, what bugged me, mate? I was out. I was um in second there. Yeah. At the start, lap four, and old mate in front disconnected, but he disconnected down into the hairpin. Yeah. And the car was just going in a straight line, and I'm on the outside. Yeah. And I couldn't turn in. I had to go out on the the sand, and then he. Then he he dropped out, so I lost. I was back to fifth, and then from there it was sort of struggle street. But yeah, yeah, I, I would have had the lead. So. Unlucky, mate. Oh, uh, what, what could have been? Yeah, these things happen. Then I got a couple of slow downs. So sorry about that one. I just scrubbed that off and went. Oh, I'll, I'll get around this corner. And <laughs> I might have driven in front of you, but I didn't. And no, unlucky, mate. There. Unlucky. And sorry about that. Sorry, sorry if I had a bad rejoin as well. Um, when I came back on after the uh, was it turn four down at the bottom of the hill in the gravel. Oh, yeah, no, that didn't worry me. I was oh. right over to the right out there anyway, mate. Sorry, I mate. saw you. Saw you. Ah, shit happens, mate. Yeah. That's yeah, I had That's a racing, mate. massive cramp in my right foot, and I just I just had to take my feet off the pedals and miss my braking point. Then I had to left foot brake and accelerate for a couple of laps until I could get my right foot to stop cramping. <laughs> so you did a 26 three in the race because it came up that you'd. You'd done a 26 straight. Yeah, mate, that pace was always in the car, but again, I just had an absolute shocker of a qualifying. I just couldn't put it yeah. together. Like, I was seven tenths up on my final lap, and I cut the co uh, cut the final corner on the inside. So oh, that would have yeah, put me, like, like second or third on the grid or something, mate, so... Oh, fair enough, yeah. 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 Oh, mate. Well, mate. I started third, but, yeah, I got into second by turn one, and... Yeah. Yeah, like I said, oh, my bloody disconnected, and... Yeah. Took me out with him pretty much, but yeah. oh. didn't do any. There was no damage to the car, but I was out in the dirt and yeah. gravel. That's what I popped about two spots in front of you, I think. So, do you remember what lap that was? I'll have a look on the replay uh, lap, now. Lap four. Lap, lap four. four yeah, okay. I've just went and witnessed it. There's a car behind to stay inside the line. Two meters remaining. Hollowell has retired. Let's have a squiz, mate. I've got you. Got you on the big screen right now. <laughs> oh, that's a go. <laughs> yeah, for all of YouTube to see. Yeah, nice. Have you got me zooming? I'm zooming. No, I, I'm... I'm <laughs> Here at the moment. Yeah, I can, <laughs> I can disconnect from Zoom. Yeah. Was it the... Happen oh, yep, yep, I can see it now. Yep, there we go. So he's flickering. He's... Actually, I haven't got it on the big screen. What am I on about? Got the wrong street, wrong stream on. There we go. That's more like it. So going down the hill... And old mate's flickering, 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 and... Oh! Oh! Yeah. Mate. I really I really couldn't do anything. I didn't no. know. Well, I could have drove through him, I think, but I, did, I, I didn't know what was happening. I thought his pedals disconnected or something or whatever. And, but yeah. his internet was dropping out, so... Unlucky. I'm just no. going to have a look at the final lap closely, because that was... That was insane, mate. That was absolutely insane, this final lap with fencing here. Yeah, I know, yeah, where he come out of the pits. Yeah. Hang on, just let me jump on your screen. I'm yeah. Delayed, but... Because one of the Fenson brothers ran wide, and then he rejoined in the path of his brother, and I managed to get both of them. It was uh, <laughs> very, very stressful around the outside. Oh, right, yeah. So what did you end up with there, fifth or something? Uh, fifth in the end, yeah, from 13th. Yeah. I always seem to do it, mate. I always seem to, like, qualify terribly and come back in the race. Every time. Like, if I can qualify well. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so let's have a squeeze of this. I was, yeah. think I was pretty close to you up to this hairpin here. Oh, mate, you're all over me. I was... Your car links back, but I... You probably Bone see man. the nose pop in here. Yeah, there it is. Get a bit of a lock-up and... Here we go. Oh, that was close. That was a zero X there. Right around the outside. Just got him on the last lap there. And that's, yeah, that was P5. So let's see what happened to his brother up ahead. I think it was his brother anyway. Yeah, he's gone off skis. And then, if you watch me after this... Yeah. It's, oh, yeah, well done. Yeah. Yeah, nice. So, fencing goes up the inside. Oh, he loses the rear and then overcorrect into... 
old mate up ahead there. Oh, that's Sorry, unlucky. Mate. That's unlucky. Owen. Ah, oh, mate. Owen had a cracking race as well. He was oh, did I touch? Oh, massive touch, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Fenson's on the inside and he yeah. has a wobble on the rear and then it just snaps the other way and takes them both out oh, into, wow. into the gravel. Yeah, that, that sucks a bit. Uh, so let's well, the worst thing, just watch me coming along here. Yeah. You just just go back to me because it'll be just hit pause or whatever. Sorry to tell you what to do there, Dan. Sorry, mate. Oh, that's all right. Um, oh, there's a 10 second delay. That's right. I'm watching <laughs> screen, so. Well, I can press play and then 10 seconds later it'll be right. Yeah. Oh, yep, I can see it. I can see what happens here. The rear goes on entry. Yeah. Oh, mate. So I thought, oh, I might get you both. Yeah. So, a bit, um... Yeah, a bit so, me. You only lost one spot, though, right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's all good. Yeah. So, yeah, they're all having their own little gig. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, oh, yeah, and I just, just break tiny bit too late, because he's... I sort of, I don't know. Yeah. A bit of blood rush, probably. That's about it. Yeah. There you go. Mm. All right, mate. Yep. Well, um, yeah, that was that was enjoyable, but that yeah. wasn't the result I was after. <laughs> I was heaps heaps better than that. But yeah, no, you should have been much further up the field, mate. Um, but there was a few guys that only one stopped that race too. Yeah. How the hell did they do that? I mean, even if oh, I feel feel safe for the first half yeah i suppose got, dino was saying some of them got 22 laps out of yeah. a tank so they probably just slip in the slipstream of other people and you yeah. know short shift and lift early yeah. yeah that's crazy that's crazy that mate that's i could manage 20 if i'd like yeah. was careful but 22 is insane yeah. <laughs> oh well mate oh, yeah well these things happen yeah good racing with you as always and uh, yeah you too mate yeah, shame it wasn't the result that you're after. <laughs> oh, look, it's, um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's what it is, man. I have yeah. some good ones. I start from the back and finish up the front and yeah. start at the front and finish further back, you know. Yeah, true, yeah. true. That's such is life. Such is life, that's, mate. That's it. All right, you, Jeb. All right, Dan. See you all later. See you, JB. Look after yourself, mate. You too, mate. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And that's Mr. JB coming at you live from Bathurst. So we have the matter of a giveaway to do, don't we? We have a t-shirt to give away. Now, if you guys haven't been following the race so far or following the stream so far, um, last time out in Aragon, I got driver of the day, which was remarkable, to be honest with you. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> But what I also meant was that I won a t-shirt from Sudspeed, uh, the same people who make these gloves, and um, I'm actually getting won over by them massively. I'm not a gloves person, but those things are amazing, so I, I can't recommend them enough. Seriously, great stuff. If you want a really nice pair of sim racing gloves, Sudspeed is the way to go. But they also make t-shirts, and for winning drive of the day, a Sudspeed t-shirt is the prize. However, I've already got one. They already sent me one out at the start of the uh, start of the, well, way before the start of the season. So um, I don't need two Sudspeed t-shirts. So I asked the guys at Sudspeed, hey, can I give it away on stream? And they were like, yeah, great idea. So I'm giving it away on stream right now. If you want to be in with a chance of winning a t-shirt, Oh, come on, where are we? Not that one. That one. There we go. If you want to be in with a chance of winning a t-shirt, stop snapping to the stop, uh, top of the screen. <laughs> there we go. If you want to be in with a chance of, of winning, this is, what, this is what you need to do. Type into the chat exclamation mark t-shirt and Streamlabs will pick one person at random when I press the button up here that says... where does it say? Where's it gone? When I press the button... Where is the button? There we go. Close entries and then pick a winner. So I'm going to put a timer on so we can put a definitive end on this, otherwise it's just going to keep on going and going and going. Uh, 126... 1 minute 26 is exactly my fastest lap around here. 1 minute 26.3 or something, but we're not 
timing it to three tenths of a second. So 126. That's how long it is before I'm going to close the entries. Um, it will be in your size, so message me after the stream on Discord. There is a link in the video description to Discord, so you know, come over and uh, come over and do that. And I will get your sizes. I'll get your shipping details, and we'll send it out to you. When I say we'll send it out to you, Sudsby will send it out to you. My driver of the day T-shirt from Aragon two weeks ago, not the actual one that I worn in the race because that would be quite unhygienic. I mean, I'd wash it, obviously. But it might not be the right size, but this one will be the right size. So let's see who we've got in the giveaway so far. We've got Sticky, Boggy, my dad, JDF. We've got Mr. Bishy Cordia, JK Williams, Rafael Torres, Olaf Lab, Stephen Coe, Sean Finn, my mum, Chuba Raman, Chuba, Chubari Man, Chuba Re... I've, I've always just called you Chuba. I've never actually looked into the specifics of the full name before. Tub R Man? I don't know, Chuba. <laughs> Borderless Gaming and Garcao Gaming. So we have 12 people in this giveaway, and that's a 1 in 12 chance of winning a t-shirt. So we've got 10 seconds left on the clock, roughly. Go on, if you want to have a chance, type into chat, exclamation mark, t-shirt. There is only one t-shirt to give away, because I've only won driver of the day once. So we'll see how we go. There we go. Close. Close entries. Right. I did press stop, didn't I? Yeah. There we go. Stop, please. Please, clock, stop. Okay, so... All I have to do now is press the... Where's the buttons gone? Where's all the buttons gone? It's like it snapped off the side of the... Is it too big? Is the screen too big? Uh, the giveaway has been closed. I can resume the entries, but how, where's the pick a winner button gone? What's going on, Streamlabs? Where's, I'm going to refresh the page. Let's see what happens here. Where's the pick a winner gone? Am I missing something here? Actually, normally there's a button that says pick a winner. Do I have to scroll down to the bottom to get it? Resume entries. Close entries. Uh, resume entries. Winners. Oh, pick it. They put it on a new tab. Close entries. Right. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that race really took it out of my brain. I was like, surely the button would be here at the top somewhere. But no, you have to go and uh, you have to go and do it on a second page. So let's get some drum rolls in chat, shall we? Olaf Labs has started started it off. Let's get some drum rolls in chat, and I'm gonna I'm gonna press that button that says pick a winner, not that big red cancel button. And yeah, one suit speed T-shirt on the way. If you don't win a T-shirt but you still want to get something suit speed, they do have T-shirts for sale on the store. You can also get some gloves as well if you want. And they've actually been kind enough to uh, set up a discount code for all of my streams as well. So if you do want to get stuff and you don't win the giveaway, then use the code DDF Racer at the suit speed store, and um, you'll get 10% off everything. It's not just an, you know it's not just an affiliate link where I get a kickback from the store like my Fanatec and Next Level Racing stuff, which is obviously good for the channel, but it doesn't really get you any money off. This does. This gets you ten percent off, which is you know nothing to be sniffed at. So there we go. We got some Olafs in chat with drums. We got underpants and bins from Sticky Bog. He's got some drums. Right, let's pick a winner. Who's it gonna be? It's Mr. Bishy Cordia! Mr. Bishy, well done, sir. You have yourself a suit speed t shirt on the way. Well, not yet. I need to confirm your shipping details and your t shirt size. But there you go! And Olaf has posted a link in the chat to the store as well because he's an absolute legend and because I'm a terrible streamer and I forgot to do it. But congratulations! Let's get some claps in chat for Mr. Bishy. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. You won. <laughs> you love to see it. And he's vanished. Where's he gone? Where is he? He literally just posted some bins in chat. Don't tell me he's left the stream and gone and got gone and got a coffee or something already. Oh no, there he is. <laughs> no, there he is. He's back. <laughs> you are welcome. 
no problem, mate. Um, you don't have to thank me for it. You have to thank Sudspeed. The fact that they already gave me a t-shirt and then I won drive for the day and got another t-shirt on top of that as well. I don't need a second t-shirt. It's all yours, mate. Congratulations. Well done. And, um... Yeah, sorry to everybody who didn't win, who took part. Uh, it was a 1 in 12 chance. It's probably the best odds you're going to get of anything for a long time, I'd say. <laughs> um, but that's that. That is that. So, job is done. Oh, we got iRacing and race room codes on there. We don't need to see that. Let's get rid of all that inner workings behind the stream. We don't need that. All right, then. Alessandro Orea. Do I still use the HF8? No, actually. I only had it for a day. Uh... It actually belongs to a, to a subscriber who was very generous and bought it for themselves, but they posted it to me first to make a video, and then said, when you're finished, just give it a wipe first, and then put it back in the box and send it to me so you can get a video out of it. And I thought it was very thoughtful. So I only had it for a day, and I had to pack it and send it back up to its rightful owner, Alessandro, so now unfortunately I don't, I don't have that. But Next Level Racing saw that video, and um, they sent it off to the R&D team, and they actually enjoyed the video that much. They said, hey, we want to sign you up as, uh, as a, you know, we want to sponsor you. Um, which is why there's a Next Level Racing logo right here on the stream, because they are an official sponsor of the channel. And that's why they sent me this rig and seat for free. This uh, Next Level Racing GT Elite 4 GT Stunner. So I'm very grateful to them. Now, I haven't got the HF8, but I have got a rig. <laughs> um, okay, well, that is that for today's stream. Next... We've got an OLF rally on the 24th of November, but if you enjoyed today's race, then come back in two weeks' time, because we're going to do the LMP3s and iRacing all over again. We're going to be at the brand new Zanvort circuit with banking, and in fact, I'm going to put that on the screen right now so you can have a little look at what that looks like. Um, naturally, I'm going to have a massive advantage because I've got an orange baked beans car. We're in the Netherlands where they love everything that's orange. So, um, pole on a win incoming, and a win from the top 10 reverse grid incoming as well. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's happening in a couple of weeks' time. On, well, it's a big week on the channel next week, though. In fact, it might be the biggest week for a long time on the channel, because I was hoping to have it released on the 4th of September, but there's been a few setbacks in development, um, most notably an electrician that Nukedrop had around to his house, cut through a water pipe and flooded the kitchen, so he's not been able to work on Circuit Thermalito for a few days. So it's going to get pushed back until maybe the 6th, or the seventh at the latest. But it's definitely going to happen next week. Circuit Thermalito is being released to the public next week. And then on the 18th of November, or the 19th of November, if you're in Australia or New Zealand because of the time difference, the biggest community event of the channel for the whole year. The Circuit Thermalito Transit Van Support Races and the Porsche Cup Main Race with full custom skin packs for both. So it's going to be a hell of an event. I can't wait. Circuit Thermalito has been a dream project of mine that's 10 years in the making. And next week, it finally happens. I know there's a few of you Kickstarter people who have already had a drive of it. And, well, I'll let you say in chat how good it is. <laughs> Put your initial thoughts and feelings on it. Because um, I'm biased. And I'm going to say it's great. No matter what it's like. But there's some people here who have an independent opinion who are big fans of it so i can't wait next week is going to be huge so i've got a trailer to record before then i've got a announcement video for the event to record before then i've got a sneaky qr code video which will make some more sense in the future there's a nuke drop q a session don't think i've forgotten about that we're going to do that in the gap between the release and the race so there's a lot happening the next few weeks are going to be incredibly busy you might not see much in terms of videos and streams for a little while, maybe a week or so, because I'm, I've got a lot of work to do. But trust me, after that, there's going to be a lot happening on the channel. And it's going to be amazing. I can't wait. So you look after yourselves, people. Thank you again for today. I hope you enjoyed this race. It's not too late to leave the stream a like, and it's not too late to subscribe. But it probably is getting a bit too late for me to have some dinner and a cold beer. It's 8.30. I'm signing out. It's been a pleasure, and I will... I'm probably going to see you at some point over the next weeks. If not, I'll see you around. Thank you, everybody. Love your work. And Mr. Bishy, message me your details. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.